How old were you when you lost your virginity? Who writes these? That sounds so personal. My go-to character witness would be Pete Strickland, played by Shea Wiggum, because both Pete Strickland and Shea Wiggum can lie without batting an eyelid. It's the job. 70s, just because I can see Mason in a heavy bell-bottomed suit. Fedoras, because you can do so much with a fedora. You can hide behind it, you can hide things in it. There's no mobile phones. Scotch at lunchtime, I think, should make an aggressive comeback. Yep, yep, right. Because that's something about the 30s I love. How much time do we have? My imitations of noises probably should be illegal. The little clicker for when you turn your alarm on your car. Walk past expensive cars and go. Let's have a look. Welsh cakes. My first batch. I was very proud, which is why I took a picture. Because no one else would have believed me. I think I'd have to go with Columbo. I was in the last ever episode of Columbo as the murderer, and many blame me for the downfall and the sad demise of Columbo. My apologies, Peter Falk. 100% yes. Court appearances are not just enough for a suit. Blood Will Out by Walter Kern, a remarkable tale of a man who impersonated a Rockefeller. Not much of a reader. Someone should make a television show about it. Ooh, probably my name. And that could be questionably incorrect. Make something up. Or in that your department? Fair. Griffith Park, which we shot in. In fairness, the writers did say, what would you like to do? And I said, I'd like to ride horses in Griffith Park. And then they went and put it in the show. That was very nice of them. That's it. <laughs>